Skip. Been too long, girl. How you holding up?
Look out! Exactly what I say, and you'll be rich. Rich, rich, rich! Top hats, the finest Bonjour, canes, monsieur. expensive cigars, oh, all white you. with... Look, look who it is. All right, Tom? like seeing a ghost is this. Hello. Tom, can I get another bloody drink over here? Uh, well, what can I do for you? I need a wash. You got a bath? Can somebody have the girls make wash you with him for me, please? Mister? Howdy. Here we go. Howdy. Oh, that old story. So. Any assistance? Ah, oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Very well. Relax and I'll do my best. Let me know if it's too warm. Might not even recognize yourself after this. Sorry for smell. It's been a while. Well, this bath's got you quite relaxed, don't it? All right, I think that should do it. Taking my leave then. Bye bye. Salut, mon mignon. Hey, let me see that ugly mug. Don't even have lights in. I have nothing to say to that, my dear. Buy my book! Read my book! Do exactly what I say and you'll be rich! Oh, rich, rich, it. rich! Top hats! The finest canes! Expensive cigars! A wife with soft hands! A hundred servants! Hi there. Come on in. A summer house by a northern lake. Got an idea of what you want? All of it and more if you're man enough to take it. I'm man enough. I'm man enough to stand here and make a prize soul to myself for you because I can. That's, uh, looks pretty good. I only care about those who care to read. Buy the book, read the book, do precisely what I say, and you'll be the man. Building railways, opening factories. You won't be riding the railway, you'll be owning them. Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. Well, I guess we're all done here. Thank you very much, friend. Sorry, did you say something? Don't worry, I ain't serious. Hello, mister.
Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. <coughs> Let's get you to a doctor. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll be fine in a minute. I'm fine. Nearly there, just around this corner. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Hey, look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. and Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters and my... It's not possible. Well... Like I said, I... I'm real sorry. Yeah, well... Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Change what's done. We can only move on. You have it in you, I can tell.
good, and he did good. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But... I think of you often. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Ride the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Perrin's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well... Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground... Mr. Bullard? Yeah. Hmm. Mr. Bullard? Ah, Mrs. Adler! It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. And, sir, quite certain. Mrs., let us away. Wish us luck. 
I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope um, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. Sure, you shouldn't be doing this. Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lighting. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Okay, we're getting a little high now. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions discussion. Well, just say the word. What got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. 
Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Should we, uh, think about heading back? That ain't John. All right, let's try one of the other fields. Look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? That's not him. Okay, he ain't by the barn. Is that him? Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascend! Ascend! This is absolutely insane. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased! Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Say it! Up here! They're all Driscoll's. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. I think I might need to adjust my feet. Say it! 
have a real habit of seeing the obvious, Arthur. Hold on. Did you break your neck? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. Oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Christmas. Can't stay out of trouble. Damn out. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kinda liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. It is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Oh, 
Easy now. Not bad, girl. <laughs> there, girl. Hey, he's in there. there. Can I have a word? What's happening? Easy there. You're getting you ain't robbed. so tough if you're afraid to sh Kill you. 
already. Oh, trust me, keep back. You don't want anywhere near this wagon. Here. Easy, easy. Come on, girl.
Well, it's gonna be Valen. I can handle myself just fine. I'm coming. Like I said, ain't happening. You got a boy. Insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marshall? Bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh. Let's hit. We're that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Okay, come on up. All right, where's John?
Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marsden? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> now, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! Stay down! Oh my god. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in sound, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. You know, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15, 16, Now, hurry up. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. 
Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Check my pistol! Let's clear these and make a run for it! Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll roll. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Why not put around? I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? 
she's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about... The, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so it might not be the hero's welcome, you're so much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. To me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking to hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Seems for me. 
making a whole lot of trouble. No real okay, reason. Arthur. Making trouble for those who deserve it always seemed reason enough for Dutch. Problem is, I ain't sure he cares who he's fighting no more. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. You can't kill everyone. So, now well what done, are you scheming about now, huh? You goddamn traitors. Sure, you might as well make some money. You off. were nothing but a street rat when he found you. He believed in you, Thank you. when no other son of a bitch would. Many oh, thanks, in Morgan. Him? You ain't been nothing but a bad apple from the start. You ain't even been with us a full year. You think you know that. This is the one. Kill him, Hell, boy. we got yeah. you on all sides now. Ah, after you're dead, oh. the fun. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the wheat go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. 
This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, it's his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out. And he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're... Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's that we'll bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. <laughs> I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! Noise!
Mike is going after those papers. Let's find him and get out of here. It out. Boys, you've lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right. <laughs> Whoa. 
We all okay? Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch! It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Be gone. Whoa. Be gone. Be, be gone. <laughs> Partner? I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. That's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. No. I never do.
Yeah. Hi there, Arthur. Dutch went and killed Cornwall and Annisburg. This will be bad, John. Shit. Yeah. I'm worried he's coming unstuck. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely. Okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I... I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in... Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York? We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. 
Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after Thank us without adding an army to the you list. You want to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done with killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise. And faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think, just think, for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion, now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with... With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal, and then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. You 
mind the horses. I need to smoke. About that anchor, you think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Hurry. Come on, Arthur. confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Come on.
admit to himself that he is no longer a man. Never thought about it in those terms. <laughs> An old friend of Evelyn Miller like you? I doubt that. You know, I never had a son. If I... Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Be quick rageful. Yes. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Come on, the girl. Ah, there he is, old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? <laughs> Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems what is this Pinkerton's and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. You take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Girl? Whoa! Have fun, boys! 
Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? Hey, hold up a sec. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. What was you talking about before? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay. Let's hold up here. No, no, we, we ain't walking. So, the wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg, and it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice drunk playing. Comes naturally. I could use a drink after that. Ah, uh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it?
think I'm doing? Okay. I don't see any more. All right. Huh. Oh, that was close. Don't reckon I'm to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. It ain't meant to make sense. It should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with the moment. Yep. Look, there's Micah up ahead. Great. Whoa! So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. It's Arthur! Let's see how this day goes. Well, at least he's back. Thank you for getting him out, Arthur. Of course, someone had to.
buy such a fine beast? Have a problem with me? Lazy folk around here, aren't Is there something on my- Give me all your money! Uh. Hey! Give me all you got, mister! Uh. Come on, now! Uh. I need your money now! Now, damn it! Here, here, take it! Shut the hell up! Let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot. They are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis suits you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. 
This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. Y'all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. Sun's really beaten down. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey! You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Well then. I will. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? Bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Sir? Hello, lady. Oh, Arthur. Oh, a damn, lunatic! Sorry about that. Afternoon, sir. Could you tell me how to get on the I'm roof of this building? Well, I don't know, officer. Well, you know, there are some stairs down the end there that will take you to the next story. Oh, After yeah. that, uh, I have no idea. Very good. Carry on. Sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, 
and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, <clears throat> we saw the bastard hang okay, but <clears throat> no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from Sandinia a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your...